Hey guys, welcome back to the fourth video of Chrome extension tutorial. In this video, we are going to fix this one. Okay, so already we have a uh, beautiful input box, right? So once I enter my name and hit enter, then my name should come here within a header and this text box should disappear. And also when I refresh the page or if I open a new tab, then also my name should be there, not this text box. So that is the context of this video. Let's see how to do that. It's very easy. We are going to use the Chrome extension uh, storage permission. Okay, so I'm just going to copy that and let's go to the manifest and here I'm going to add this one. Okay, and we have two types of storage. One is the local and another one is the sync. So sync is basically it will sync with your account, Google account, whatever you have logged in here, right? So based on that, it's it will try to store the data. Whereas local in the sense, as the name suggests, it will store only on the browser, not in the uh, your synchronization of within your account. And also it is not recommended to store any confidential data because these are not encrypted. So I will prefer to go with the local itself. Okay. So to set the data, we have to use this like chrome.storage.local.set and we have to pass the key and value. Whereas to retrieve the data, we have to pass this key here okay so what are the key we are going to set we have to receive this i mean we have to uh, receive using that key okay it's very simple let's see and also i have added one more jquery here within the project because uh, of course i can do it with the native javascript itself but when we are going to delete the ui we are going to append it that might be little tricky or little time consuming in native javascript so i thought of going with jquery and there are a lot of versions in jquery uh, i will prefer this version to use because i have used some other version that was already i mean uh, those are rejected by the chrome uh, web store okay so i'll recommend you to use this uh, i will leave the link in the description probably you can take it from there okay now first thing first we have to add the script tag for the jquery okay and it is very important to add the jquery in the very first of your script uh, or else sometimes there would be unpredicted problem okay so always try to add the jquery first and then you can add your uh, own javascript files okay now here what we are going to do is we are going to manipulate this one so we are going to remove this and we are going to add the header right so let's give a id to it so that we can identify very easily okay uh let me tell you what i'm going to do so first of all we will try to type my name here and when i click enter this text box should disappear how it will disappear in the sense in the control we are going to add a uh, field called i mean we are going to add a class called is hidden now if you go and refresh you can see that guy is uh, disappeared right uh, and once this is gone then within the same tag within the same section i am going to add a header with class called title and then i will just say like hey something like this okay and let's go and refresh so you can see this so of course the coloring and styling is different comparing to our previous uh, like the demo application but that's just a class name and some tags we'll fix it maybe in later it's focused on the storage okay so i hope you are clear with the context let's see how to do that okay so let's go and uh, copy this one okay now i'm going to create a new package sorry not package new file within the services name.js uh, let's move it here yeah why i'm creating new file in the sense that will be really easy to debug as well as in the future if you are going to change something then you can go to that respective file and you can do the modifications okay yeah that's fine now let's go and use the uh jquery first okay so this is the function so once the document is ready then we are going to do something what something what to do don't worry i will tell you okay so first we'll uh check uh okay first we'll set the value okay so i'm just going to grab this one and uncomment yeah now let's go and refresh the page okay i'm going to remove the is hidden as well yeah now let's go and inspect so here we can yeah this is the name right so this is the name and from there we want to get the input right 
yeah so we are getting one of one that means our selector is correct okay so what we have to do is now we have to find the event key press event of enter right like i will enter my name and then i will type my name and then i will click on the enter button once we enter then this should disappear and this should appear right let's see so here i'm going to say the sky and i'm going to say like key press and that's going to return me an event like what is happening and if the event dot which equals equals 13 that means uh this event in a sense like it will identify all the key press event like if i click on the space bar or if i click on the enter shift whatever i'm going to key press that will be captured here which in the sense which button i'm going to click and 13 stands for enter for space bar there will be a value for one there will be a value for uh, abc there will be one value for the enter it's 13 okay so when i click on the enter what i have to do is i have to get the name right so i'll say like const name equal to event dot current target dot value okay that means uh, wherever my current target that is this one this text box is our current target right so from there we'll get the value okay and let's go and display this one let's see if it's working fine or not and did we add this yeah we have to add this here as well right so script is rc and here we'll say like services slash name dot js okay now let's go and refresh this guy and i'm going to type my name and enter let's go to the console and you can see here right so let me clear once again and give it properly and click on enter then you can see we are getting this output right so it is coming from this console log that means we have a code to get the name now what we have to do is we have to simply hide this text box right so what we are going to do very simple as we discussed we are going to add the is hidden here right so that's going to be very very simple let's go and do that so here i'm going to say like uh this one probably we can use the same jquery like uh hashtag name and that's have a class called control right so div dot control and we'll just remove that part okay we'll just remove it okay let's go refresh one more time and i'm going to name enter my name click on enter and that guy disappeared now i have to whatever i have typed i have to bring it back right in the format of h1 so what we are going to do is we are going to delete this one okay and here we are going to say this guy like hashtag name and then we are going to append okay so we are going to happen we are going to append this way i'm going to use the back ticks and instead of this guy i'm going to call my name variable here okay and i can give some exclamatory just to make it properly okay let's go and refresh and here we are going to give name and yeah cool right we got it but the problem is if i click a new tab then same thing is going to happen right so we have to store like whatever i'm going to type i have to store that and whenever i close the browser or restart the browser or uh, if i click on a new tab then of course i have to get the stored value here right so let's see how to do that that's going to be very simple actually so first of all we are going to uh store this one right so for that uh what can i do so i can say like simply chrome dot storage dot local dot set and here i'm going to set the name equal to name okay this name is key and this name is that we are going to get it from here okay so that's it and yeah we are able to store it right so um, yeah we are able to store it but the problem is we have to check right we have to check if the name is there or not so if the name is there then we have to do the guy we have to remove the control and we have to append this one right so i'm going to copy this or i can control i can convert this into a function as well okay so and i can say like change name something like that okay 
and uh, here I'll check before the key press I'm going to check this one okay so chrome dot storage dot local dot get and we have to pass it within the array and the name is name and here we are going to receive the callback within the callback I'm going to call this guy and here we'll get the data so here I can say like data dot name okay it might be a little confusing with lots of name but let me show you okay so I'm going to refresh this and this guy you can see first time we are getting this um, what we call that okay let me debug and show you okay that will be more appropriate i think so we are getting the okay so first time uh let's let me refresh one more time okay so here you can see like we are going to first the storage will be uh it will go to that one right and it's going a lot of things so we'll just click on enter and unfortunately we got some error i think yeah we're getting this as local of undefined why we're getting mm. okay i this one should go out and this is not related to these one okay mm, that doesn't really matter i think yeah let's go and run one more time okay let's go and refresh and clear this guy and refresh and i'm going to open a new tab and i'm going to enter my name and yeah so we got this one correctly let me refresh and this is not working okay so let's go and check so here if i go to my console you can see that change name is not defined within this name dot just change name okay it's a it's it's basically this the scope is limited to this one right so we have to move this guy outside of this function now we can use this so if i click on change name you can see it, it is going there right okay i think perfectly fine let's go and refresh and here you can see already we got this one okay so how does it work in the sense it's very simple actually let me debug and show you okay so i'm going to remove this guy one more time once we remove uh, it will actually go from the memory because we are using the local uh, chrome extension right so let's go and install this and let's bring our new tab now we can see hey undefined that means we don't have any value okay so what we have to do is actually we have to check for the condition so if if this guy is going to be undefined then we have to show the input box right so what i'm going to do is i'm going to wrap this and if i say like if data dot name that means only if i have this name i will change the name change the name in the sense we'll remove the control and we'll add the new name that we are going to get from the user or else uh as in that for the first time let me refresh okay first time i don't have the user right user is not entered the name so it will go to the this one if name is there of course name is not there so it will skip this part and then it will try to do this now when we do the enter on this particular it will try to grab that name and then it will try to change the name okay so that's it very simple i will remove this lock we don't need this let me show you one more time okay so i'm going to enter my name and i'm going to click on enter and here you can see we got this one now if i refresh of course it will be there if i open new tab it will be there even if i close my browser and open it once again so here you can see we got this right so that's it very simple so in this part we learned how to use the chrome storage api and also we saw like how to store a data and how to manipulate the ui with the help of jquery okay so that's it we'll see in the next one very soon